Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is Lizzie and Zach. Please subscribe to the channel. And yeah, it's time to check out this non-David Fincher film. So no one's back for this one. Oh. Daniel Craig's gone. I think Rooney Mara's gone. David Fincher, everyone's gone. So let's see if the film is still any good. Sorry, I said those things. You know how much I love you, don't you? Okay. That's not good. Who the hell are you? She just knows her account number? Some people don't remember. He won't hurt you again. Mr. Chen has bankrolled your company for years. Isn't this his wife? You bitch! You try to contact your wife again? Or if anything unexpected should happen to her, this video will be sent to him. Oh, she's getting the bad guys. Are you not this with Salafra? The writer of Rome. She's like Batman. Chasing. Why did you help everyone? But me. Is that a super villain? Somebody She's an all red. Saved. Someone died. You can't outrun your own shadow. There's Lakeith. I liked him. He's a good actor. That's something. A new way to get the vacuum seal bags. So this is def de definitely going to be the Lizbeth Salander movie because I didn't see the main actor anywhere. The main actor was... He's just some guy. I looked up his picture uh. online. I can't even pronounce his name, so I'm not going to attempt it. <laughs> but I didn't see him anywhere in the trailer because this is just some guy that she's going to beat up at the beginning. This isn't her main character. Yeah. So I forget that the guy's supposed to be the main character. I mean, they're both the main I mean, characters. Yeah. She's honestly the more interesting one, you know, based on what I've heard of the novels and then I mean, the I watched movie. The Girl with the Tattoo, but I can't remember it. Yeah. I feel a little bad. This this looks good. It's kind of it kind of sucks that Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara and Fincher aren't coming back because those guys kind of made the first film. Um Yeah, there's not a lot of star power in this one, which is fine. Yeah. It's just it's going to be harder to get people to, to go to the theater to see it then you know yeah uh, i don't know what the white stuff on her eyes is she looks like um ice man from x-men i mean every it's probably just to hide her identity are, are you back to the zorro rules a film where if this much of your face is covered yes. no one can tell who you are yes even if you have the exact accent or the exact look. Yeah, even if your ears are pierced the same way. <laughs> oh, no. Those can't be the eyes. This... Okay, so she says that there was, um... That, that this guy had prostitutes they beat up, right? Mm -hmm. This is a loyal prostitute if she's willing to call the cops that's, on this guy that just beat her. That's the wife. This is the wife? Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that was... I, I didn't, See, I didn't catch that. See, that's the wife. <laughs> Wait, what? Listen. The rest, I'm transferring to your wife. So she's not 
So then she's in it for the money in this situation. Then the second she finds Possibly. out she's getting some cash, she's like, "I'm not gonna call yeah. the cops." Well, also I think she wanted the pro- needed the protection too. I guess like, it's hard to walk out of that situation. And it's hard to look at this girl as anything less than a bad person. I know she's got beat up, but I mean, she's willing to call the cops until she finds out she's gonna get some cash. And the kids right there. I didn't even realize that till we were part with the trailer. Wait. Did you guys see her carry her kid out of there? Yeah, I saw, but where is she? Where sad. did the kid come from? Oh, she went to go get her from her bedroom. Oh, okay. Well, at least her and her daughter are safe. Yeah. I mean, sometimes women feel trapped. Yeah, so. and I guess that's the situation here. Well, there's going to be people that aren't happy about this trailer. There's the dragon tattoo, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. I swear these shots are just from the Dark Knight. I've seen like these are just the exact shots from Batman. Hey. That was probably the blonde girl that comes back in the red dress. That looks like a girl from Resident Evil. <laughs> the movies. Like right here. I don't know. Something about this is very Resident Evil movie series it's a pretty impressive red costume um, it's an outfit but it, it looks does, like a costume I'm sorry it does call into question who would actually wear an entire red trench coat and bodysuit in public I unless mean, you're a movie unless villain unless you're a superhero or villain <laughs> so she didn't save one I don't know this is not That's the most visually interesting thing in the entire trailer. I don't 100% know what's happening. Isn't this kind of like a a fetish thing? Um, Being, you know, airtight in a rubber suit? It might be torture. It looks like someone's in pain, so maybe I'm completely wrong. Uh, so there's snow on her uh, gun, so there looks like it must have... St- some stuff happened. A scuffle of some kind. <laughs> well, this is your new Lizbeth Sounder. She's look, she's totally fine. Rooney yeah. Mara, I think, was really, really. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously Rooney Mara wasn't the very first actress because the first actress was the Swedish, the Swedish actress. Mm-hmm. But there is something to live up to because I thought that she did a really good job as Lizbeth in the original David Fincher. Yeah. It's hard to say original since that's not the original films. Still though. Yeah. She's got a lot to live up to. So we'll see how it, how it goes. Yeah. So Lizzie, I'm gonna cancel this. What do you think? A girl in the spider's web. Okay, sorry. What do what, what do you give it? Um, an eight. An eight an spiders eight? in the web. Eight spiders in the web out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, it's about average for me. I, I don't know. It seems kind of bland. Well, that's because you said you've seen all the shots before somehow. I uh, what? You said they look like Batman. Oh, no, just that one shot. Yeah. It was like, I remember that from when Batman's riding his motorcycle. Mm. Um, yeah, overall, I'd just say that the first, they're calling this a sequel to the David Fincher movies. Like, even though no one's involved, they are calling it a sequel. Hmm. So, I, I, I said, I, I don't, I don't know where the sequel comes in, you know. Maybe at the end of this movie, Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara will pop up and be like, no, this is all fake. We're the real girls with the dragon tattoos. I give this <laughs> seven and a half dragon tattoos out of, out of 20. It's okay. Seven out of 20. Seven out of 20. Seven point five out of 20. All right, guys. Well, let us know what you thought about this new movie. Is this your Elizabeth Salander, or is this just a sad sequel? A sad book turned into a movie. <laughs> well, we already knew it was that, but right. without the guys that we love, is this even worth making? Mm, we'll find out. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.